I'm Priscilla Kisan Huang and I'm here in Tay Valley Township. It's about an hour and a half drive down south from Ottawa. We don't report here often, but residents reached out to me with issues with their local government and their integrity commissioner. So we're here to dig into it. So it all began because of roads like this. This road is owned by the township, but privately maintained by residents who live along them. But residents have been butting heads with township staff about rules and who pays what. And that's where residents like John Lang come into the story. I have been a resident of Tay Valley since 2008, permanently since 2015. Um, I'm retired and, uh, and came up here to enjoy a quiet, peaceful retirement. John began seeing issues with transparency and accountability. He submitted complaints to the Integrity Commissioner on Councillor's conduct stemming from that roads issue. The six complaints I submitted were uh, disregarded without for, uh, any contact with me. He came to realize the man in charge of accountability in Tay Valley, who's supposed to be independent, is the same man hired by the town to be its own lawyer. And John's not the only one concerned. Former counselors and other residents say it bothers them too. I just think that that gives rise to an incredible possibility for conflict of interest. It's a bit unnerving. I think it's misguided. So the fact that council or Tay Valley Township staff and council would be aware of that kind of potential for conflict of interest uh, is what leads me to feel aghast, perplexed, um, confused, and confounded. Okay, so why is this dual role an issue? First, let's take a step back. An integrity commissioner is like a government watchdog. When someone believes an elected official or board member behaved wrongly or is in a conflict of interest, they can complain to the commissioner who can investigate. The province mandated every one of Ontario's 444 municipalities to have an integrity commissioner since 2019. Meanwhile, the Ontario Ombudsman says just in the past year, it's received dozens of complaints specifically about integrity commissioners. The Ombudsman's office spells it out pretty clearly in its best practices. Integrity commissioners should not take on other municipal roles, specifically its legal counsel, saying that can cause both real and perceived conflicts of interest, and it undermines public trust. So I spoke with Tony Fleming about this. He says he's now the integrity commissioner for about 80 Ontario communities, and for about 20 of them, he's both solicitor and watchdog. I can't disagree with the ombudsman that it is certainly possible for the public to have that perception. I disagree completely that that perception is reality. I am 100% comfortable that I am doing the very best job in a completely independent manner for my clients, both as solicitor and as integrity commissioner, and as both solicitor and integrity commissioner. I also spoke to the Reeve of Tay Valley, and he backs Fleming up. I have seen nothing to indicate why we would uh, let go of Tony Fleming as our integrity commissioner or providing legal services. But another township nearby called Rideau Lakes let Fleming go from the integrity watchdog job last year because some councillors felt it was a conflict for him to hold dual roles. I do believe that he is in conflict and according to the best practices from the ombudsman, he is in conflict. So who oversees a watchdog? Well, the ombudsman doesn't have powers to enforce recommendations, so I contacted the Ontario Ministry responsible for municipalities. They say it's aware of these dual role concerns and is exploring options to strengthen its municipal conduct rules. But that leaves residents like John Lang feeling like there's no one to hold his local government accountable. I have contacted uh, the OPP, I've contacted the Solicitor General, I've contacted the Premier, I've contacted the Municipal uh, Minister of Municipal Affairs, I've contacted our local MPP. I didn't come relocate up here for my retirement to deal with this. Um, the sleepless nights, the, the utter disregard of Tay Valley for the concerns of their, their citizens, um, that's not the way it should work. Priscilla Gizhan Huang, CBC News, Ottawa.